Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss weak entity. In the previous video, we have seen a strong entity, and in this video, I am going to discuss in detail what is weak entity. Now, just now we have seen if I say strong entity, so it is not dependent on any another entity. It is having its own unique primary key. But weak entity is just the opposite of a strong entity. Now, when I say weak entity, it is dependent on a strong entity to ensure its existence. Unlike a strong entity, a weak entity does not have any primary key. It instead has a partial discriminator key. A weak entity is represented by a double vector. Now, quickly, I am going to explain what are the, these points. Now, the first thing that we have seen, a weak entity is represented by double rectangle. So this dependent is one of the example. The example that is written here, employee is known as a strong entity, and this is known as weak entity. Okay, why? Because it is represented by a single rectangle, and here it is represented by a double rectangle. So that is why it is weak entity. So this was the first point, the symbolical representation of different entity. Now, what is the second difference? The second difference is. A strong entity is independent in itself. जैसे मैंने बोला मेरे parent ठीक है मेरे parent अपने आप में dependent है and I am taking a pocket money from my parent. तो मैं उनके ऊपर dependent हो गई and that is why I told you in the previous video when I say parent, so parent is a strong entity and a child is known as dependent and that is why it is known as weak entity. Weak entity में कभी भी primary की नहीं हो सकता है. Now what does it make sense? It makes a sense because you are telling that a weak entity is dependent on a strong entity. Then how we are going to identify its unique? Un, uh, how we are going to identify its uniquely? So that is why we are always having a partial discriminator key. Now what is the meaning of partial discriminator key? Just an example. If I say there is a student, okay, a student is having its ID, student ID. So student ID is represent. It is used to represent each and every student uniquely. Why? Because that might be a case that in a class there are lots of students those who are having same name. Now, if our students are having same name, then how we are going to represent it? So we are going to represent them by using its student ID. Similarly, when I say a course, so in the college there might be a course which is having at least one student. So a course cannot be blank. Okay. So each and every course must have some student. So we can say a course is dependent on a student. So that is why now course is dependent. And in the course, if I say course ID, so it cannot have its primary key. So course ID plus a student is enrolled in which course? So I will say student ID, and that is why this is known as discriminator key, a key which is the combination of a strong as well as weak entity. So these are some of the examples of a strong entity. And weak entity, and these are the points which should be written while you are having any your semester examination. Okay. Now, in this video, I am also going to explain you one or two questions. Like, see, this is a diagram. So, in the question, it is given which of the following entity in the ERD is strong. You have to identify which is a strong entity. Okay. So, the options are professor, name, dependent, and relation. So, what is the correct answer for this question? So before watching this video, okay, stop this video or pause this video, and then you are supposed to give the answer in the comment section, and then we are you are going to match. Like you are supposed to identify strong entity. Now when I say strong entity, we can clearly see professor will be the strong entity. Why? Because it is represented by a single rectangle, and dependent is known as your weak entity. Why? Because it is having double rectangle. Okay. So this is how in the examination you will get the questions. Now, when I say name, so name is your attribute. In the previous classes, we have seen an attribute is represented by oval shape. So this is an attribute. Similarly, relation is what it is relationship. So this is your relationship. So this is how you are supposed to solve the questions. Okay. Now this is the second question, which is not an example of a strong entity type. आपको मैंने उल्टा क्वेश्चन पूछा है, which is not an example of a strong entity type. Options are course, department, student ID, and student. So the correct answer is your student ID. It is not an entity; it is an attribute. It is an attribute. In the previous video, we have seen 
sports, departments, student, they all can be entity. Why? Because student exists in the real world. Sports is also exist in the real world and department also exists in the real world. Just you can take an example of your college. Okay. And when I say a college, so college is a database. And in this college, we have course, we have student, we have several departments. So these all are represented by entity. And if I say course, so course can be commerce, course can be arts, course can be science and so on. So that is why these are your strong entity type. But a student ID is one of the property of a student. So that is why it is an attribute. It is not an example of entity type. So this is all about this video. We will coming up next in the next video. Thank you so much for watching us.